Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday. It is ISM Services Day today. Um, this is massively important after yesterday. Uh, big, big, big risk off, as everyone knows. DXY reversed. This is. Yeah, ES obviously got slammed. 2939 was the bingo number, as we talked about. Got to stay course short here. Um, 2840 is the 200-day moving average. Looks like we're going to check that thing out. Um, and today will be driven by this ISM services number. Manufacturing came in poorly. If services also comes in poorly, equities will get slammed even more. Let's look at Euro. We talked about this tug of war down here at 108.85. Huge amounts went through. The bulls won. Uh, now we're on a higher trajectory here. You can't really sink your teeth into anything until we break this line here. So we got to be patient, but this line is coming lower every day and eventually we will meet him on 1032 today so that's your that's your change in trend line we like core longs in euro um, but you really can't put the hammer down until you break through that trend line so sort of tentative core longs let's take a look at dollar yen straight down yesterday printed 107 the figure which is now a pivot and surely a break trade uh, again we want ism to drive this but this is an important number double top up here this is now the neckline and a double bottom so through this uh, will be quite important Take a look at Dollar Swiss, which cost us a lot of money yesterday. We were core short Dollar Swiss. Uh, we really settled in and put a good size short position in it on nine, at around 99.50. We cut it at 85, uh, and we saw this thing trade up to 1.0026. No idea why. A lot of different rumors flying around, but the point is um, something funny is going on in the Swiss franc. You can see Euro Swiss also on a massive risk off day. Euro Swiss plows higher. Um, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, the reason I'm showing it to you is just to say uh, let's stay away from the Swiss franc uh, in the near term because this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Let's take a look at Boons. Didn't do a lot yesterday considering the the carnage in the equity markets. We're still core short this stuff. Um, we do have ammo to sell high ones if needed. Uh, we thought it was quite a good day in a sense that equities are down 2% and Boons basically remained unchanged and unmoved through the nonsense. So core short boons still in our playbook this is another one that I don't really understand why did dollar cad go from 132.05 to 133.20 don't really know again because we don't know we just want to stay away from this now this this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me I know crude got crushed um, but in a sense, we're just in the middle of nowhere, uh, but just another one, just like the dollar Swiss bar, does not make any sense. So when it doesn't make any sense, just stay away. Euro Aussie, we retain core longs. Um, this is more Euro driven than Aussie driven. Aussie's up a few ticks uh, overnight. Core long, Euro Aussie. And finally, Sterling, lots of nonsense, but really open to where it closed. This is a news-driven deal here, like we talked about yesterday. 
if you want to watch the news, watch the news. Um, otherwise, just kind of we're just going to wait for 126. I think. I mean, I'm so tired of Sterling. I don't trade it too often anymore. I've kind of given up on it. Um, but TikTok Brexit is coming. Looks like to me there's going to be an extension, but that's what it looks like to everybody. So if they do do a deal. Um, and Brexit is just off the table and it's not a WTO Brexit or hard Brexit, this thing will shoot higher. Um, but it looks like to me we're going to be kicking the can down the road with an extension. Don't really totally know what to do with that. Finally, gold on Monday. We talked about this down move. Now with all of this risk off and with all of these longs who got taken out, um, from that $30 down day on Monday and then Tuesday we went down to 65 this looks good for the top side now the positioning will be a lot lighter because of this red bar here um, so we do like gold higher especially in this big risk off environment if you didn't sell stocks yesterday your best bet is just to wait today till 4 p.m. If the number is bad, smash it. If the number is good, just leave it alone. Um, the market is very short here, so it's quite a binary day. Uh, all eyes on U.S. ISM services. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow.